All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Manshu, and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. In the last tutorial, we talked about events, and we talked about how you can actually leverage events for pretty much anything that you do on the browser. And now, in this particular tutorial, which is an extended version or extended um, set of tutorial for the events, more like a part two, we'll just go ahead and do the sample question. We'll where we'll try to take input from a user where the user enters an email and we'll try to validate it with a regex pattern all right now for those of you who don't know a regex pattern is nothing but let's go ahead and close all of this and i'm going to search a sample regex pattern for emails all right so email is nothing but a pattern right i mean the input should be a pattern meaning it cannot be just you know a.com it has to have the at the rate it sh should have the domain and it should have a dot in between and then there should be a domain name or or the dot com or dot in or dot ae right so you have to ensure that the input that the user is entering is compliant and it is basically correct so what we want to do is we want to actually use that and try to throw either a error message on the screen for the user or allow them to input it if it is correct all right so i have the sample page opened here let's let, we'll, we'll probably try it out okay and now we'll go ahead go into our js fiddle because i need html as well so we'll just get rid of all of this that we used in the previous session i'm going to say run it should empty up everything yeah now what I need is an input field. So I'm just going to say input type text. All right. And on change. See input type text on change example. Right. And I'm going to just take this here. Let's go here and element on change. Right. Let's go back. This is not helpful. Probably let's look at another option. I'm looking for the HTML code, not the JS code. Yeah, okay, this is fine. So it's plain text. Okay, all right, no problem. Let's go to JS Fiddle. Input type equal to text. ID equal to. Let's not. Okay, let's keep the ID. All right, my email address, and then value, or let's say name is equal to email, and let's say run. All right, now I have an input field and I can actually put abc at the rate def.com here. Correct. Now what we also want to do is we want to actually have a button that validates. All right, so button validate my email. This is the name I want to put and I want to say run. Okay, so I have an input box and I have a validate my email button. Now what do I want to do? I actually want to add a event listener on the button. Correct. So I'll say on click because I want to handle the click. I'll put double quotes and I'll say validate email with brackets. So this is my name of the function. And as soon as I put a name of my function, you know what we need to do. We need to create a function in JavaScript. Correct. We are going to say run. Right. As soon as we say run, let's see if our event is, I mean, if our function is working fine, I'll say I was clicked. Okay. Let's say run. And now let's say validate my email. See, I was clicked log this showing up here. All right. So our integration with the HTML and JavaScript is working fine. Now what we want to do is let's talk about what we want to do. First of all, I want to take the input of the input field that the user has entered. Right. I want to then match it with a regex pattern. If the match is successful, meaning it's a valid email or else it's invalid email. That's the whole thing we need to do. Right. So what can I do? I can actually take the value of this particular input element by using what? By using the document attribute. Right. So I'll say dot, dot get element by ID because I have the ID in my hand. I'm just going to use it. All right, so I'm going to take the I'm going to find what is my email input, right? So I will get the entire input tag by using this 
and then I will simply say give me dot value meaning whatever is the value of this particular input that the user is entering okay do again don't don't overthink it this is just for plain javascript okay it's not very it's not exactly lwc but i'm trying to help you understand how events work right so now we have this function i have to, i want to take the input of the input field that the user has entered so i'm saying document dot get element by id dot value okay now what will this give me i'll say let email value is equal to this entire thing now let's print it out okay let's see if what the value is showing up all right i'm going to say run all right now if i say hm at the rate mh dot com and i say validate you see this is the console log hm at the rate mh dot com because that means that this particular element dot value is giving me the exact value that the user has entered makes sense so far so good awesome so i have the input so my step one is done this one now i want to find a regex pattern for email so let's go to this tab i just found it online i'm going to take up this basic one okay so let's just take uh this one okay this pattern allows for multiple subdomains such as okay all right no problem so i'm going to go ahead and take it and i'm going to use it in my code right so i'm going to say const email pattern now why do i use const because it's not going to change so i did not say let correct so i'm going to take this pattern and i'm going to put it within this parameter so this tells that this is a regex pattern okay i've just enclosed it within slashes all right so this is my email pattern so i have the email pattern with me and i have the email value with me i have both these things let's take it here I have both these things now i want to find a way to actually match and not match correct so what do i need to do i want to actually check if email pattern dot test so this is a function you don't have to know it you can online search it okay if email pattern dot test email value this is how you test a regex pattern in javascript okay i'm going to say console dot log valid or else console.log invalid all right for now let's just do that so email pattern is the regex pattern dot test is the function or the method that you are using to check whether email value matches the email pattern or not so i'm going to say run runs fine i'm going to say a, a at the rate b.com if i say validate my email it says valid all right what if i say b.com see it still says valid what if i say Become, it still says valid. Wow, why is it still saying valid for everything? It looks like it's not working, right? So let's test this pattern out quickly. Let's test it in a online regex validator. So I'll say online regex validate. So you see, these are the side things that you always have to do. So I'll say build, test, and debug regex. This is the first option that came up. I'm going to enter my string. All right. So see, this is the entire regex, and see, this is also enclosed by this slash and this slash. Okay. Now I'm going to put a at the rate b dot com. It says one match. Okay. What about? See, it says one match, meaning it is matching the regex. But what if I say a at the rate b com? It still matches. And what if I say a b a b c com? It still matches, meaning this regex is not correct. First of all, okay, that's the problem. So let's go back here. Let's see if I take something basic. Okay, there is one here. It is a simple regex pattern for validating. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and take this entire thing. Okay, let's take this thing. I'm not going to decode it right now, but if you notice, you can have any kind of characters or numbers followed by an at the rate, then any kind of characters or numbers followed by a dot, and then any kind of characters or numbers. That's the thing. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and use it here instead of the one that we currently have. So let's get rid of the current regex. I think that was a part of it. I'm going to take the entire thing awesome now let's go ahead and say run and now if i say a at the rate b.com it is valid however ab.com should be invalid and now it is invalid meaning now our regex is fine all right so just see how you have been able to see for people who don't know how to code or are starting fresh like this is a very big big thing for you right for those of you who know apex or triggers and don't know javascript this is a big thing for you 
okay for those of you who know apex and a bit of javascript and a bit of lwc this might look normal to you but understand the gravity of it that you have actually written something on the html on the form level you have you have been able to use a function set up a function that kind of does a email check now any form that you go to in any of the world anywhere in the world if you take a look at a form and you see your email getting validated you will know ah okay this is how they might have done it if it was on javascript that's a big thing all right so kudos to that right now the other part is what did we understand from here we actually looked at how to call a function call an event listen to an event whenever an event happens so a button is clicked triggers an event in javascript and that's where you actually check what the value is and you do your thing there all right so that was a primary example or a basic example or a sample question i wanted to do that is email validator with regex pattern all right and with that confidence and with that in mind i want you guys to give this a try i have five use cases for you and try this out pause the video here take the questions down and try this out and probably comment on the on the chat or comment on the video saying that yeah this is the code i've written and it works fine this will build your confidence this will build your side of the confidence you see how i actually looked at the regex online i looked at you know how to uh, do the input type on change i just put the keywords so i can find an example that's relevant i tried to understand it if it made sense i went ahead and tried to use it that's basically half of your coding in your coding life okay you don't have to actually see a lot of people actually think i need to be able to write each and everything by mugging mugging it up okay you don't need to do that you don't need to know exactly what should the regex be you can take it online from online okay but you should understand ah, okay this is what it is trying to say that it should start from anything that is a character or a number it should be followed by an at the rate this at the rate then there should be another set of numbers or characters then it should be followed by a dot and then it should have a number but do you need to know exactly how to write this no not needed take it online it's okay all right so just be smart on that point and yeah that's that's all i think that's all i can say all right so probably give this a try i have five questions here something that's on the click something you have where every time a user types something uh, add a hover effect to an image okay create a program that logs every time any key is pressed so if i say a s d z x c every time i press a key a key pressed log should come up very simple but give it a try write a program program to stop listening for a button click after it is clicked once so this is basically you add a event listener and then you remove it on the very first call okay interesting simple use cases but give it a try it will basically help you build that confidence all right great that's all about uh events and i think i already covered how is this relevant for you and in the next class we'll talk about debugging all right great i'll talk to you in the next one bye mm -hmm.